lower jaw distraction or mandibular distraction. When a baby is sleeping in the supine position, the tongue drops backwards and blocks the airway. To improve breathing, the lower jaw can be lengthened. Most of the surgery is done via an intraoral approach. The surgeon makes a few burring holes to detach the bone from the meninges underneath. Via an incision in the gingival fold, the bone of the lower jaw is cut. Then, via skin incision, two metal pins on each side of the bone cut are introduced into the burr holes. Next, the distractor is placed on top of the metal pins. Distraction is started several days after the procedure. With a special screwdriver, the distractor is activated. If needed, the distractor can be adapted to recreate the curvature of the jaw. Once the distraction is stopped, the distractor is kept in place for three months to allow bone healing.